on the original Game Boy. From, I don't know, 1989 or something? 90, 91, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> and with me on commentary, I have Dan Carnett. Hi, Dan. <laughs> well, hello there, Laxus. So which year did it come out? I don't know. I'm, I can I, A quick Google will tell me here. <laughs> Normally I know that with games I run, but I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. It's not a quick Google because they did okay. a stupid well, remake. <laughs> it came out at some point for the Game Boy. Um, so let's just get into it. I guess we have enough time to, to explain everything. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we always take oh, a nice. Oh, we, uh, we got we got repeat repeat the intro. What we have to repeat the intro? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh that's cipher insane. Okay, hi. <laughs> it was such a good intro. I know, dude. We had it down too. Just just imagine there was a good intro here. Um, yeah. Anyway, hi, I'm Lexus, and um, I'm starting a little uh, Zelda blog with uh, Link's Awakening, the original game on the original Game Boy, which we don't know when it came out. 1993. 1993, yeah, just as we both knew, of course. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, and with me I have Dan Carnett. Hello there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, for name, um, I have no idea what all these Japanese symbols are, so we just pick some that look like a um, smiley. That's very important. Gives yeah, us I've, good I've, vibes I've, for the run. I'm, I'm still gonna go with uh, Pac-Man chasing the ghost dots. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that also works, yeah. Or, or Naruto's run. <laughs> 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 it all works. Let, let's just let's just start the run before this because <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, Link awakes in this house um, with Mario and Zelda that are actually called Taran and Marin, and he just stranded on this island. Yeah. And so the. Yeah, the, the, the story of this, it, it picks up right after the events of A Link to the Past. And uh, Link is, I guess, traveling in a boat. Uh, um, the boat gets struck by lightning and by boat, like basically a raft with a flag. And uh, the, <laughs> the boat gets uh, gets struck by, uh, by lightning and um, Link is presumed dead. And uh, he washes ashore on this uh, far forgotten island here. And uh, hijinks ensue. So the right here, uh, Laxus just got the sword. Uh, he, so he gets the shield from Terran, and then he's got to use the shield to to push these little spiky dudes out of the way to get this sword. And you're gonna see Laxus at, uh, be attempting one of the first like really minor little glitches, but no run is complete. Um, no run is a good run unless it's got a little bit of grinding here. And so Laxus is going to try to get up uh, 10 rupees. or, um, And you'll notice that right there, he got two instead of one after oh killing that God. thing. And good he's idea. having a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> rupee farm. <laughs> good stuff. So, so uh, in Link's Awakening, if you have your shield out when you are picking up... Um, Picking up rupees, it basically counts as picking them up twice, uh, depending on how you how you grab it. So that's what Laxus was attempting to do, um, and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the best part of any good grenade. You know that really wasn't that bad. No, it could have been um, way worse. And now that he now that he has uh, grinded out those rupees, he's gonna go ahead and steal this shovel. Uh, I I prefer um, lending it. Borrowing. Lending with, <laughs> what, borrowing without, he's gonna borrow without returning the shovel, <laughs> and and then he's going to, I guess, borrow and not return the bombs. Well, so, I don't think you want to return used bombs. <laughs> I mean, maybe they could be recyclable. <laughs> and then, uh, because he's the hero, he's going to borrow the most expensive thing here and not return that, which is the bow. 
Yeah, so uh, what I did with the bombs was um, I have the 10 rupees to pay them, but I need the 10 rupees here. Um, so what I did was I told him that I buy them and then I just saved and quit. So I got the bombs, but I kept my money. So technically I bought them. I just never paid him for it. Because this is how the story goes for Link is he steals stuff and then he uses money to get drugs. Because he's the hero. Yeah, I mean, that's what all heroes do. <laughs> um, so Laxus is going to be setting up something here right now by going in and out of this lady's house. It's not because he wants to say hello or anything like that. He's actually setting a reset point so when he saves and quits, he can come back to that door because the game will remember exactly where he was when he... Um, when he saves and quits. It remembers the last, like, I guess, door the, the transition. Last, yeah, the last entrance, like, be it a cave or a house. Um, it's really convenient. So either if you save and quit or if you die, you will return there, which is really nice. Yeah, and so we're here, Laxus is actually setting up a, uh, a trick called a bomb trigger, and it's already been performed. <laughs> but uh, basically what it involves doing is placing, um, having two bombs go off within six frames of each other. Uh, and he uses the screen transition to set that up. Um, and by doing that, it can make any cutscene on a screen happen if that screen has a cutscene that needs to uh, needs to play to progress. So instead of going and getting the mushroom and then, uh, or I guess, yeah, using the dust on, on Terran there, he went ahead and just um, made that cutscene happen as though he did do that because it's a lot faster. And you're gonna see that a lot in this, in this run. Um, and there's going to be some pretty notable ones, but we'll talk about those when when when, uh, when Laxus gets there. Yeah, what what you notice is uh, that I open the save and quit menu all the time. That is usually to just skip text boxes. Like here, it would tell me, "Hey, you got a key." Um, but by opening the save and quit menu, you skip that text box, and it's just a little bit faster. And that you can do that for a lot of dialogue, actually. Yeah, and uh, like when, when Laxus came into this dungeon, he he did that uh, upon entering, and that was to skip the text telling him what dungeon he was actually in. And so uh, Laxus is actually going to get the most broken item in this game right out the gate. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty broken. Ar uh, it's arguably. not the most broken <laughs> item, I guess, in this one. Oh, perfect. That did not work out. What are you talking about? You were just setting up your iframes to walk through it the second time? Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely faster than just waiting. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he's got the rocks feather, which allows him to jump. And you're going to see him do a trick right here that's called a super jump. Um, and the super jump, basically, he's going to trick the game into thinking that he's up on this wall. And he's going to use that to jump over that key block. Um, super jumps are the most used skill or tech in this run and you're gonna see it a lot so basically the way he does it is he wraps around a wall and gets uh is a one to two pixels into the wall and the game is going to think since he's technically in the wall the game is going to think that he's on a different level um, and I mean, Laxus is on a different level from the rest of us, <laughs> but uh, he's he's making Link basically be on a different level. So when he jumps off of that, it's going to actually think that he's up on a platform above. Um, you'll notice that he murdered the crap out of that uh, mini boss. And now the toughest boss in the run. Uh, oh, my Mold God. What is this pattern? That was... Yeah, this boss yeah. is like super random. Um... If you know him from Link to the Past, he's way worse in this game. Um, he's a lot more random. Um, the problem is you get there, you have three hearts and he deals one heart of damage. So even if you're full health, you three hits and you're dead. And in addition to that, he can just push you off and then uh, you have to restart the whole fight and lose like another 20 seconds. It's, uh, it's miserable. <laughs> Yeah, that that Moldorm makes the Link to the Past Moldorm look like a cakewalk. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it the, really does. 
the platform's so much smaller too, and I swear he moves even faster than he does in the Link to the Past version. Yeah, the um, only good thing is that he only takes four hits in this instead game. Instead of six, yeah. yeah. Uh, so now, um, now that Laxus has defeated the the first dungeon, uh, he's gonna make his way up to um, to Bow Wow, which is that chain chomp that which was at that lady's house that he used as a save and quit earlier. Um, so he's gonna kind of work there and make a little detour along the way. Now that he has the feather as well. And you may notice whenever I have to go diagonally, I jump because walking diagonally is um, slows you down. But jumping diagonally does not, so it's faster. Yes. And so had he gone into the town, he would have found out that Bow Wow had been stolen by these moblins. And so he's in the moblin cave to rescue uh, Bow Wow, who is going to be with him for a little while. You mean until the very end of the run? He'll yes. never get rid of him. <laughs> you just like him so much. It was just another way of saying that, you know, you're just going to beast this because it's only going to be a little while. <laughs> <laughs> That's very optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got Bow Wow, he saves and quits, which puts him back at the entrance to the game. And he's going to do uh, kind of the same little idea that he did with, uh, that he does with super jumps. He's going to walk about a pixel to the left, jump back over, which is allowing him to clip into that tree and then rub up against that rock, which allows him to go wow. ahead and, dude, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Usually you have to wait like 20 seconds for Bauer to finally eat one of these flowers so you can get in. Because that, that's the main reason or pretty much the oops, uh, the only reason why you actually have Bauer because you need to get into this dungeon. And he just usually takes his time eating yes, one of these flowers. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's It's not uncommon to lose like a solid like... 20 to 30 seconds on average <laughs> waiting for Bow Wow to uh to to eat one of those plants. Yeah, really 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 nice. Um also at the beginning of the dungeon I used the powder to light the torches and then I got rid of all my powder because I don't want it anymore. We don't need it for the rest of the run and I will have to get the mushroom for some glitches after this dungeon. Um so I need to get rid of it. Yeah, and he can't get the mushroom with, with while having uh, powder. Yeah, and just like the the uh, level one mini boss, uh, he went ahead and just obliterated the level two mini boss. The game isn't really programmed with the idea that you would have a 980 rupee item at this early in the game. Yeah, really weird. So he goes ahead and grabs the power bracelet, and he's done for now with uh, with uh, Dungeon 2. Um, and that's one of the really cool things about this run, is he is going to be doing things in a, we'll just say an odd order. <laughs> yeah, very odd, oh, dude. yeah. Do you see that Bow Wow save, though? Yeah, I don't know what is going on with them. Dude, you got, like, god-tier Bow Wow RNG right yeah, now. Yeah, if only I could have a good execution as well, right? Well, I mean, if you if you got God tier Bow Wow, I mean, who needs execution? He'll execute for you. <laughs> true, true. So I just picked up the mushroom, then I saved and quit uh, to get back to the dungeon entrance. Um, yeah, I will just uh, real quick grab a warp point for later. And then we make our way to dungeon three. Because at least at first we kind of go in the right order. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, it's a very interesting route. Um, Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it made it even more so by the double dip into two. <laughs> Just wanted to show that room. It was really nice. Yeah, and, you know, it did look pretty good. So normally, to get into dungeon three, you have to get the um, key to get into it, and the key to get into dungeon 3 is locked behind a really long side quest with like this prince who wants you to get these golden leaves and stuff. Um, 
and you have to go into a castle to collect them and then bring them back and then you can go into his uh, backyard to uh, get the key and we just don't want to do that so I'm doing this. I have a mushroom. And so yeah, so that's called Villa Skip. And it allows him to skip the, uh, the guy's name is Richard. Um, and he skips his his villa, which would then lead to the, to the side quest that he was talking about. Yeah, and what happens there is um, the mushroom lets me actually, or rather probably the uh, text box that the mushroom um, has, uh, lets me just um, hover over a pit and when I um, open the save and quit menu, uh, I will just land on the very bottom pixel of um, the pit or the screen. And uh, then I can just hold down to transition in the screen below. And because there is no room where it actually puts, uh, can put me, because you're not supposed to transition down there, um, it just pushes me all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, and and so you'll also notice that Laxus is going to be killing some extra enemies while he's in this uh, in this dungeon, even though he, you know he doesn't necessarily. You, you wouldn't think that he has to, but um, you'll notice that right there, an acorn just dropped off of that mob. Um, so this game has a mechanic built in where it, when you kill a certain amount of enemies, um, they will drop what's called a guardian acorn and a piece of power. And Laxus is wanting to get a piece of power for a couple of different reasons. Uh, the first reason being is that it's going to help him kill the... Uh, kill the the boss of this and there's that piece of power uh it's gonna help him kill the boss of this dungeon faster um but also he's about to do the scariest uh, super jump in the run and nails that one first try uh, that's called dodongo skip and that allows him to skip having to kill the dodongos with bombs and go like around that whole that whole deal and now he's going to attempt the one of the cooler ones is a very difficult trick. Of course. Oof. Got it every Almost. time in, in practice earlier, so I had to fail it now. That's fine. <laughs> and you'll notice that every time that, uh, well, for the most part, any time that he actually needs to blow something up, he's going to equip the bombs and the bow and arrow. Um, and that's because in this game, you can use both the, uh, both the bombs with the arrows, making bomb arrows. Um, and Laxus, you want to talk about how or how that came to be? Sure, give me one second. Okay, didn't soft block. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that 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 jump is scary because if you do that jump incorrectly, you can soft lock your game and uh, then you have to run back through the dungeon to get here. And without the piece of power, that that is, a, is actually a much more difficult trick because the piece of power not only does more damage, but allows you to uh, move faster. Yeah. But So, um, one of the developers of... Um, Link to the Past was just unhappy with how the game um, handled things and like you had to always have uh, a sword on uh, on one button so you couldn't really effectively use um, multiple items and he wanted to change that so he um, uh, <clears throat> so he uh, started working on this game um, unofficially at first um, and he made it so that you can just change both items all the time so you don't uh, have to use the sword and um, so that you can actually combine items um, and yeah the bomb arrows are the best example of that yeah and and it's it's i always found it really funny because despite having essentially four less buttons to use uh they found a way to make a cooler <laughs> <laughs> you know, a cooler piece of tech yeah. using only the two face buttons of the Game Boy, just B and A. Yeah, and, and that boss, by the way, he was just done really quickly because of the double damage um, with the piece of power, so not much yeah. to say about him. And so now Laxus is going on a little bit of a journey. Um, and this journey is going to involve another bomb trigger 
and a uh, intentional death. Oh actually. my god, what a troll. <laughs> so you'll notice that Laxus is taking da trying to take damage. <laughs> well, I tried to. Strong. <laughs> Uh, so so he steps into this house here to go ahead and set his reset point for his save and quit. By walking through the screen right here, he goes ahead and gets that teleport point as one of the points that he can go. Now you'll notice that he bounced against the wall there. He's going to throw down a bomb and then go to transition to the next screen. And he has his hand out because he is the walrus risperer. Man, that's really hard to say. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, so he uh, whispers to this walrus. Uh, it sounds a lot like uh, Marin singing, uh, but he doesn't have Marin with him. Typically, you have to take Marin from the original uh, town over here, but she would only allow that to happen once you've completed a huge portion of that side quest. Now, right now, um, the side quest, the fetch quest, which is pretty notable in this game. Um, now, you'll notice that he's just immediately going over and hugging a cactus. Um, and the reason for that is he is actually stuck in that cutscene state because he doesn't have Marin. So he actually couldn't do anything until he dies. So that is a, that is an intentional death. I know it, I know he made it look accidental, but that one actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I tried to dodge that cactus, but he was just too strong. What can I say? Yeah, he just he just brought it. And nope. <laughs> <laughs> one, one day I'll get it again. It's been a Dude, while. It, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna grab, go ahead and grab the key right now to um, to Dungeon Four. Yeah, it's it's and, all in order. Don't don't worry. Yes, and there's nothing nothing weird gonna happen here. Uh, and so earlier when he got that other teleport point, the reason for that is so that he could go ahead with this one and be able to use that key uh, Im immediately. Um, without having to walk all the way back up the, like the world, essentially to get to get up there, yeah, or island as it were. Also, if you're wondering, we will not do anything of the trade trade quest that is normally part of this game. Um, you would have to do normally a part to get to do the side quest for uh, to get into dungeon three, but we skipped all that and yeah, we skip everything else as well. Oops. Oh my god, how am I missing this? There we go. Uh, that's another um, type of super jump that uses the movable block that's right next to the pit. And yeah, if you jump at it at a certain angle, you can just jump off again, basically. Yeah. Um... One thing also you'll see you'll see a lot of uh, this is another the other item combo that is more typically used is the the boots with the feather to get like a long jump and this room right here is pretty scary. Oh, they, oh, they were nice. And, I just yeah, missed they, the chest. <laughs> and, 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 enemies play played nice, but uh, that that chest was ever elusive. The chest dodged me. Yeah, normally that uh, one enemy just camps in front of the chest, so um, it's like really hard to actually open it. And when he hits you, he usually just uh, bonks you back into the water at the beginning of the room, so... Yeah, yeah that went wrong. And I'm not gonna lie, I always get scared, get down to like one heart or something like that. <laughs> same, <laughs> same. It's, it's not like I never died there, but... Uh... Yeah. Uh, so now is probably... So so I ran. I personally ran the 100% uh, the route, and this was one trick that we both did. Um, and it's one of the cooler super jumps in the, uh, in the game. Uh, it's gonna allow him to get up there onto that other platform. Uh, by using this enemy to uh, hit off of, he goes ahead and jumps up there like a boss and grabs the big key. Yeah, you do a super jump, then uh, bonk off the enemy, and it just pushes you over. It's really good. And then, yeah, he's uh, up to... He's going to take out the, the stage four boss here. Guess what? Bomb arrows are really effective against fish. I mean, I can't see why they wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> and so this will actually be the the last uh, boss that Laxus beats for a little while. 
Hey, I gotta... Hey, got it. Cutscene skip. Um, the cutscene skip is frame perfect, actually. Uh, I use a setup that makes it timing-wise free, but then it's just sub-pixel dependent, so it's basically RNG. Otherwise, you would have to do a, a frame perfect um, menu uh, to actually do that. And then if you do it right, you can just save and quit uh, after you get the text box. Oops. Um, and you don't have to look at the cutscene where you place the instrument. Yeah, because I mean, it's not like Guitar Center. You don't need to go there and try out all the instruments all the time. Like, you, you, Link knows what he's doing. He can play eight instruments in this. Yeah, and at the, I same, even, at the same time. Yeah, and I also skipped the ocarina completely in this <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, we don't exactly. need it. <clears throat> so, technically, nine instruments. Yeah. All right, so now Laxus is heading up a mountain. Um, that jump always cracks me up because like uh so that little jump right there just to avoid that thing it's obviously if you if you accidentally fall in the pit or whatever it's faster to, to use the boots but in the, the tutorial for the run it says it's like you know if you if you don't jump over this your run's invalid yeah it's, it's <laughs> and if you touch it you also get a textbook that's also horrible <laughs> yeah don't want that uh, so laxus right now is skipping a major part um by doing some super jump shenanigans uh going back and forth between those two things so he can go ahead and grab the key to dungeon seven yeah normally because... you're supposed to um get the roost revive the rooster and fly with him um to the key for that you need the ocarina and then you need to learn the song and go to the the village and actually revive him. Yeah, it's it's a pain. So we just jump up the wall and that's just better. Yeah, and it's way better than what other categories of <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, so Dan actually do. ran the uh, DX version, the Game Boy Color game, which has a surprisingly big amount of um, similar glitches, but not all of them. Okay. Did that not work? Why did that not work? Yeah, so La Laxus is using his magic mushroom again to get high over this pit, and he's <laughs> gonna go ahead and ju jump over the whole thing here. If you and use gonna... mushrooms, you can fly. <laughs> Trust me. Don't try yes. it at home, please. <laughs> yeah. So go go to your go to your local supermarket, buy your some portobello, and just you know enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so, God, dude, this this Bow Wow. So Bow Wow actually just ate the cutscene for that tower spinning around to let Link or let Laxus go into the dungeon. Uh, this is like God tier Bow Wow. And Bow Wow is pretty nice. Uh, so once again, doing a little bit more super jump shenanigans to skip uh, the majority of this dungeon. Oh, uh, we and you're skip gonna everything of this dungeon. That's Kirby, <laughs> by the way, for some reason. I don't know. And now you're going to see the best use for, for bomb triggers in this in this run. And it's going to allow him to go ahead and just make these pillars fall. Uh, typically, you have to carry this uh, this huge steel orb, and you basically babysit it through, the, through a, a good portion of this dungeon, throwing it over pits, moving it around. But, you know, it, he doesn't have time for that. Um... So he's just going to go ahead and do some bomb triggers, which is going to essentially skip this whole this whole dungeon. There we go. Exactly. Like uh, <laughs> E Bloody Candy said, the dungeon is fun speedrunning, but casually it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah, it's like the worst dungeon. It's it's so confusing. Uh, but in it's, the speedrun, it's amazing. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it's a good it's it's a cool idea. But then in practice, it's like, uh, yeah, and then like you lose this. the 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 ball, ball and, and then you have to go all the way around again. It's such a pain. All right. So now Laxus is going to do, uh, you know, RNG dependent. Um, another really cool uh, super jump here, which is going to involve playing Mario of all things. If I could get on the right pixel. So right now he's setting up his pixel to do a very specific super jump. 
which is going to allow him, if RNG cooperates, if which it ha has yet to, but this this is another spot where it's not uncommon to lose some time, uh, but we're gonna see it and got it. So he uses he uses the Goomba to keep his height from jumping off of the the fake platform that he was on, to bounce up onto that top platform so that he can go ahead and skip having to go around through I think probably about four more rooms, um, just just to get up there. Well, I have uh, to do it because I don't have the hook shot. Correct. I... And since he hasn't even been in stage five yet. Oops. Um, shit, we have to... That's, uh, that's scary. Start the fight. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Why do I always so, mess this fight up? I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I can't imagine using bombs against a bird. It works I well, mean, in, trust me. It can. <laughs> if, the, if the bird is, you know, dumb enough to fly into it, but... <laughs> So yeah, at the uh, beginning of the fight, I um, skip the um, text boxes. Um, then I um, restart the fight so it just lines up well, and then it's just um, a pretty consistent fight if you don't mess up. Um, just use three bombs at specific points, and yeah. So now that will actually be. <laughs> now 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 the game is going to get interesting uh, so you think that you think that it's broken so far but no we've all it's only begun to be broken yeah just so, a little bit yeah so lax is going to make his way over to uh the final dungeon yeah i mean we just beat dungeon seven so dungeon eight is next that makes sense right A absolutely that's what Sesame Street told me. <laughs> we still don't have a uh, hookshot though, so. So we're gonna use use some more mushroom shenanigans. And uh, here's Marin. She got herself here. She can get herself out of here. Yeah, she will be fine. Don't worry about her. I mean, she was jumping up and down anyway, so you know she has at least Rock's Feather. She could go, you know, two tiles to the left <laughs> yeah. and then just drop down that little platform. She's so dramatic, dude. Okay, this is the worst right. trick ever. Yes, this is the this is the most annoying mushroom. Uh, skip that. That uh, is in the run, and he gets a first try and quickly. Yeah, so this trick is like the main reason why we actually will never get to see the hookshot in this run. We don't need Which it. Which is a shame, because it's so fun. Yeah, but <laughs> skipping it is also fun. So you'll notice that like graphically the game starts getting all kind of wonky in, in some of these screens. And that's just because you're not meant to have Bow Wow still. Um, Link, being the master thief that he is, steals all the items from the shop, steals a lady's dog, and pretty soon he's going to steal the existence from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like you know, we just got done seeing that 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 awesome Final Fantasy VII um, run, but I dare say that Link is a worse villain than uh, than Sephiroth. <laughs> he steals cutscenes. Like, there is nothing that this dude does not steal. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm just borrowing it. I'm, I'll give it back. I, trust me. I'll give it back. Um, so th what I did on the way was I clipped into the... Um, so I skipped the fire by clipping into the um, uh, wall a little bit so that it would not knock me back. Um, so yeah. I can just damage boost through it. Yeah, you're meant to have the the level two shield there. Yeah, and um, which is in, since, in dungeon seven, but we didn't want to get it. Yeah, it's completely out of the way. As is the level two power bracelet, which uh, Laxus did not did not get. Yeah, we, we might we might find a way. He's he's you know. he's strong, just like in Steven Universe. Laxus is strong enough in the real way. He doesn't need the power bracelet. <laughs> Totally intended Sorry. way up here as well, by the way. Yeah, Trust I mean, me. that's always how, no. that's always how I did it as a kid. 
possible jump. Oh my god. I was gonna say resetting to try to get the first cycle. I was like, I know where this is going. <laughs> Cross. But Holy what I get size. now is the actually most broken item. <laughs> yes. So so you thought that being able to jump kind of wherever you want to do whatever is the uh the most broken part of this game. But what if I told you that now he he doesn't have to fight all any but one boss <laughs> to be able to finish this game. And that one that one the uh every other boss is just they just went on vacation. Yeah, I don't know where they went, but I mean, yes. it's not my problem. Yeah, just, just like gotta this let mini the mini boss here. Yeah, just gotta let the um, <laughs> let the 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 art of stealing continue because now Laxus is stealing the oh sorry Link is stealing the sprites from the enemies so oh they don't god. even spawn. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if I ever did that. <laughs> you did now. Oh my god! Oh. I <laughs> So, okay, so I guess this is a good time to explain how this fire rod trick works. Um, so basically what, what Laxus does is he uses the um, he uses the fire rod uh, right at a screen transition. And basically he's loading the game up with so much lag from the uh, the fireball sprite of the uh, of using the fire rod that when he does the screen transition, the enemies cannot spawn. Yeah, for some uh, reason, if I um, open the menu one frame after... Um... Um, using the fire rod, it just um, lags the game so much because it spawns like a dozen of them or more instead of just one. <clears throat> and then what happened is, um, well, I was not supposed to get back into that room from above with the mini boss still alive because normally you fight him to even get there. So the game got confused and pushed me down um, and down there normally is nothing, so it pushed me into a room that normally doesn't even exist in that dungeon, and um, it so happened to have the um, power bracelet level two, which is very convenient. Yeah, there's a there's a trick that Laxus doesn't perform in this uh, in this run, um, and it's basically like a screen wrap, kind of if you're familiar with uh, Legend of Zelda 1, where you can wrap to the other side of the screen, you can do that in this game as well, using some um, some pause strats, essentially. Um, and uh, that, for whatever reason, that room that has the, uh, the power bracelet 2 is one of the default rooms that, like, the game will try to spit you into when it does not know where you are. Um, because it's very easy to uh, to get into these situations. Yeah, and I hope uh, you like lag. This, this is yeah. all we have here. Oh my god, I get pushed around here. Uh, so once again, you were not supposed to still have Bow Wow. And here are so many enemies in these screens that um, the additional existence of Bow Wow just lags everything so hard. Yeah, and this is one of the one of the keys. He, he even even with all of his ability uh, despawning stuff at this point and everything, he has to actually just physically assault this dude to steal this key from him uh, instead of just uh, you know making his sprite disappear. Uh, because it is, since it is an enemy drop, the enemy has to exist for him to do it. So he has to steal the old-fashioned way through force. Yeah, but it's no big deal because I have the fire rod and I mean I'm not supposed to have the fire rod at this point. Once again, I'm not supposed to have anything. Why? Am, what am I doing? <laughs> and now we're, he's gonna go ahead and steal steal some more sprites for his collection. Going through here making a bunch of enemies disappear with the uh, with the fire rod um, just in, in an effort to kind of mitigate the 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 lag and you know just get get rid of the enemies out out of the way yeah what, what so, bow wow eats is actually it's kind of random but you can also kind of influence it with your positioning especially uh when entering another screen um so if you position yourself right you have like a pretty good chance that he eats some stuff that you want him to eat yeah, so like if if you so in that case right there, so he went around to, from the top left, which means that when Bow Wow was 
basically when the game did a check to see if there was anything around that Bow Wow could eat, there was only that, uh, that, uh, what is it? The, the, the statue there. Uh, and now went ahead and did another little, little skip to skip the, uh, the little cutscene of the dungeon six. Yeah, I just despawned it with lag again, because why not? We despawn a lot with lag now. I mean, basically everything, especially in this dungeon, we just skip yeah. everything. Not even a tile room because there was so much lag. Yeah, and we already have the uh, level two bracelet from earlier, so... This is yeah, so he doesn't, straightforward doesn't need now. it. Uh, going to do, he's doing a little bit of a setup again for another super jump, so he's going to get clip into this wall and then jump over to the wall on the right so that he's already in the wall so that he can jump back over to the left at a time when the platform is a little bit more to the right, allowing him to get up onto the second floor, which ha houses the, uh, the, the, the boss key. And you're going to go ahead and save and quit back to the beginning because that is not the fastest way for uh, for him to get to the boss. Yeah, and now we can go straight to the boss. There's nothing else we need. Um, and well, we take a little shortcut that you normally shouldn't take. So it's normally this um, this uh, thing there. Owl, owl tombstone. Yeah, <laughs> thingy. I, I don't know what it's called, but we can despawn. It's just like enemies, so we can just drop down here yeah so even after your death he will steal your tombstone <laughs> <laughs> these are a bunch Godly. of rooms that you normally have to kill the enemies in uh, we don't want to do that yeah, link's the absolute worst dude i mean this is basically a pacifist run now right it's pretty good i mean essentially yeah uh, so here, Laxus actually does that room as in, kind of intended to get those fairies uh, because he, since he's not killing the bosses, the HP or the, the health refill doesn't happen from grabbing the uh, the instrument. Like in Zelda 1, when you grab the Triforce piece at the end of the dungeon, that's when you get your health refill. Um, or in, in Link to the Past or pretty much any of the, any of the Zelda games. Uh, in this game, it actually comes from the heart that the bosses drop. So if the boss doesn't exist, there's no heart to drop, therefore no health refill. And so th that was one of, uh, one of the only ways that he can reliably get back his health um, so that he can continue his quest of theft. <laughs> exactly. And now um, the last dungeon we haven't visited at all is Dungeon 5, uh, which is normally the hookshot. Um, but yes. yeah, we don't need it. So we will just uh, go straight to, not even to the boss, straight to the instrument. Um, it has, I think, the coolest trick of the run, but also the by far hardest trick. Yes, it it was funny. So when when uh, when I was running this as well, Laxus and I we were we were always chatting about, you know, like oh man, I'm glad I don't have to do do that trick, or you know, or man, I wish I could do could do that in my run. Um, and as much as Rooster Skip uh, was terrible in the run that I did, um, this jump that Laxus is about to perform in this in this dungeon is way worse. It's fun. <laughs> If it works. <laughs> yes. So you have to go over there to get the key. Um, and then we just go straight to where we have to do the trick. Yeah. And so the way that this dungeon is, is made up is that uh, what you're supposed to do is in this next room, uh, you won't see it because, of course, he's going to steal the, the mini boss. Uh, but uh, in that room with that block in the corner, there's a, a big Stalfos, like I guess Stalfos King. I don't know what you want to call him. Skelly the Skeleton. Um, he uh, he has you basically are supposed to find him in four different areas throughout the dungeon. And, and on the fourth time that you defeat him, then you end up getting the the hook shot. Uh, but Laxus is going to skip that. And there would be the third time that you fight him. And now this room is very, there's a very specific setup that he's going to perform. And let's see, see how he gets on with it. I don't think oh, that baby. Works. Nope. I was not like a pixel too far. Yeah, uh, not uh, quite right. far enough. Uh, 
so basically he's doing the, the the tricks that we've we've seen before which is essentially just a super jump but what he's doing is he's then bonking off the enemy there we go Ooh, that, nice. there it is and he's able to get up onto that wall and just go right into the instrument room a uh, very difficult trick um it's not uncommon to see that be the like the kill point of, of of a run yeah absolutely especially um if you fail it it is possible that you actually hit the enemy and kill him and then you just um have to start the dungeon over to respawn him uh and that just loses massive amounts of time uh, but, but yeah second try is great i'm very happy yeah. about that yeah and con and conversely the amount of time that it saves for him to do that is i mean he could he could sit there for like a solid two minutes and it still save time over going through the dungeon the intended path uh, i'm not 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 quite that much but it saves a ton of time like yeah it's it's a lot so yeah now yeah, all that is left is we have to clean up dungeon eight and two because we left both of those um without finishing them um, this one just because it's a little bit faster because you just um, have the warp here at the end. Um, yeah, and yep. Yeah, and just, so so part part of the uh, part of the reason why he does the dungeons in the order that he does as well is because after you complete the first uh, four dungeons, a ghost will spawn that you have to then take to its to its grave. Um, and since he didn't have a way to steal the ghost's afterlife. Uh, he would rather just not have the ghost spawn at all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and right there, he just despawned the stage eight boss by doing a couple little super jumps there, as you saw, to get across that little lava pit. And now he's got some drums. Yeah, it turns out it's pretty hard to steal from ghosts. Yeah. But that, that wouldn't stop him from trying. <laughs> I, I wonder what happens if you tried to use the fire rod on the screens where the ghost would appear. Like... Because so Good basically after, after you've defeated the first four um, first four dungeons uh, that that ghost will spawn, but it'll only spawn at a at a certain uh, Y axis of the map. Yeah, I think uh, it's so just the bottom half of the map. The more well, yes. Yeah. Oops. So as soon as you go into any screen on the bottom half of the map, then the, the ghost can spawn. So the reason that he does the, the dungeon order this way is so that he doesn't have to go on the bottom half of the map after having defeated the uh, defeated or quote unquote defeated <laughs> uh, dungeon dungeon two. Um, yeah, it's, uh, somehow all these boss rooms are empty. That's kind of weird, but you know, they got lazy, I guess, at the end. And and now to get the uh, to get the boss key, you have to kill these uh, these three enemies in a specific order, uh, which he went ahead and did there. And now we're going to uh, head on up to the to the boss room. Oops. Right after stealing some bunnies. Yeah, we didn't want to kill them, so you yeah. Know. No one wants to kill some bunnies. Seems I don't cool. know why this isn't. I don't okay. know why this isn't the save the frames or save the animals. Can I please? So you're not meant to have the boots here, so this typically wouldn't be something that you can do. And so now we're going to go ahead and steal a genie. And he's stolen. Not that many cutscene skips, but that's fine. <clears throat> I I mean, I think you'd rather have that five level, that stage or dungeon five. Yeah, I mean. If, anyways, <laughs> if you're I'm, gonna I'm really one happy with how this run is going. Yeah. So all we have left is now the final boss, which is conveniently pretty close to uh, this dungeon. That's why the routing just works out perfectly. Yeah. Um, so we have to go to the windfish egg and open it. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and steal an owl. Yeah, we don't want to talk to the owl. And then we have to bomb trigger the cutscene. Yeah. 
So yeah, so since he never got the, the ocarina and never learned how to uh, how to play it, his uh, TikTok video he's making here where he plays eight <laughs> instruments at once, uh, unfortunately does not begin with an ocarina intro. Yeah, but I still have to get all eight instruments to um, be able to even trigger this cutscene. I just don't need the ocarina. Yeah, and so now he's gonna head on into the egg as one does. After uh, the owl that he unfortunately cannot steal, uh, yeah, yeah, goes goes ahead and talks to him. Yeah, and the the egg normally it's it's uh, it's a maze, and you're supposed to like do pretty much all of the trade quests to um, be able to read a book in the library in the village to know the path. But if you never read the book, uh, then the path is set to a very specific one that's always the same. So we just know this path and. We are fine. So we just have to go left twice, up, right twice, up, left, up. And uh, you're going to notice here that when he jumps down into fighting the boss, uh, he's going to be mashing um, his bombs. And he nice. got it. Uh, which uh, that is he the last bomb trigger of the run where he goes ahead and he bomb triggers the the cutscene of the the final boss essentially talking to him. Um, now one of the downsides to doing this is that there is uh, no scary music. Yeah, but the upside is that this glitch kill on the first phase um, is 100% consistent. And yes. And normally you have to have powder for the first phase, which we don't have because I. Um, have the mushroom for all these glitches uh, so you have to use a glitch gl glitch kill to be able to kill him and he's giving me and, good RNG yeah and because um, <laughs> I know I know that I know the name of the game might be a little bit deceiving called being called Link's Awakening however this uh, this does happen to be a dream so he's fighting things that he's fought before um, and now we went ahead and got a nice little kill, quick kill on the Moldorm there. Uh, if you hit him as he's spawning, you can just basically stun lock him. Uh, now he's going ahead and fighting Ganon. Oops. Uh, ve very, very similar Ganon to the end of uh, Link to the Past. Okay. That well, was a little bit messed up, but it's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Not like this. <laughs> I have never failed to kill that thing, but it's okay. We have enough health. All right, hopefully. and hopefully. and now time for the for the final boss. Um, I don't know what the hell you want to call this thing. Eyeball arm wacky dude. It's called Deathl. Uh, I like my name better. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> and he's giving me horrible RNG because he's not opening his eye at all. Yeah. So this this boss is is terrible because he has to wait for the eyeball to open to be able to damage it. And how many arrows is it? Is it sixteen? Sixteen. Yeah. We have six now. Yeah. Nine. You can get so, four in per cycle, but I kind of get ooh. bad timings. And as you can see here, the longer that the fight goes on, the more wonky these uh, these arms get. But Laxus has them kind of stuck in the corner there, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, time is going to be here when um, when the screen transitions as he's getting out of here. Just for good measure, he's going to go ahead and skip all the text that talks about what was going on. And uh, boom, nice. that's Link's Awakening. That was not bad. No, that was a great run. Yeah, I, I can't complain. Like... Um... Not too many horrible mistakes. No unintentional stupid deaths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, for the final thing that Link is going to steal, he's just going to steal everybody's existence. And um, I mean, I just yeah. want to give back all the stuff that I borrowed now. But um, for some reason, uh, the island just stops existing and vanishes so i can't give back the stuff i really wanted to trust me i think that the island goes into one of your pots from link to the past <laughs> and he keeps the island and he uses it kind of like <laughs> he a steals the whole and, island oh dang. He, he steals the whole island puts it in it puts it in one of his uh one of his little glass jars and then every now and again he shakes it like a snow globe and the wind fish goes flying over it <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
I think that I think that's can canonically what actually happens here. I like that theory. That that should be canon. Absolutely. And so now this see that Bow Wow wasn't even there. So I don't know what's going on. So I mean, this game is glitched even itself. I'm still kind of sad that uh, you can't just take Bow Wow into the egg and he just eats the nightmare. That would be so much better. Yeah. <laughs> goes goes ahead and gets rid of perfectly, you know, buying mare in there, sitting, singing, enjoying life. Gone. Island gone. Probably gonna steal the ocean next. <laughs> ocean just gone. <laughs> it's just a whole ocean in a, in a, in a jar. It's yeah. like, uh, was it Minecraft, like a bucket with like water in it? And it just like, all of a sudden becomes like this <laughs> lake. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, and then Link is just back in the ocean on one log. Uh, soon yeah. to be two, because I, I don't know how it does it, but um... well, I could, I have a couple of ideas, but uh, TOS says that uh, I can't really talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, he's like super happy just being alone in this ocean. Yeah, he's like, God, man, that was really fun stealing all those people and stealing that island and stuff, and. God, man, it's a it's a good day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice weather, wind fish flying, you know, pretty good. That, pretty good day. Yeah, that's just a, that's just a re that's just a regular whale, and it's about to land on him. <laughs> oh, it's a regular whale because he stole the ocean, so it couldn't be in the water. Ex it it all makes ex sense exactly. now. Exactly. Oh my exactly. god. Exactly. Yeah. See. See how happy he is. Like being alone yeah. there in the middle of the see, ocean. That, see, that's why he, he was sad there for a minute because he was like, oh man, there's nothing left to steal. <laughs> and then he sees the he sees the whale going. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am glad we got everyone up to knowing the whole story of this game. E everything we said is absolutely true and canon. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. You can trust us. Absolutely. 100%. Why, I mean, why would we lie to you? Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't. We just wouldn't. Yeah, and for some reason, uh, these ending credits, they just flicker a ton, so you can sometimes not really see them properly. It's it's really weird. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was uh, Link's Awakening. Um, I hope you enjoyed the run. I guess I could show off all the brokenness of the game pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really a, fun, it's, fun thing. It's a great run if you're looking at uh, at looking for you know a, a speed run to pick up. That's pretty fun. Um, just learning super jumps, super easy to yeah. to complete. Yeah, and you, you can do those in your casual playthroughs and stuff like that of the game. Um, and they make dungeons really interesting. I what what makes those tricks and stuff even more interesting than using them in the run is trying to like doing a casual playthrough and just trying to use them in all kinds of weird, you know, rooms and places that you wouldn't even go to in a speed run. Yeah, you um, might get stuck sometimes, but you know, you can just save and put back to the beginning of the dungeon. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, using those super jumps and some of the other tricks, uh, I mean, you could have the power bracelet too before you even get the, the sword. <laughs> If depending on how you uh, depending on how you do it. Yeah, I mean there there are more glitches that uh, are not allowed in the category that I do, like the screen warps and um, there's like a whole glitch world. So you can you can finish the game this game in like under three minutes. <laughs> um, it is it is quite uh, interesting. Yeah, but yeah, well, uh... that's uh, that's it from us, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dan Carnan, and this was Laxus, and thank you guys so much for uh, for letting Laxus showcase this game for you. Yeah, and thank you for commentating. Uh, it was fun, as always. And yeah. uh, enjoy some more Zelda with um, the quality game Link, the Faces of Evil. I mean, that's, that's, that's a game. <laughs> All right. Imagine the faces you could steal. That would be great.
anyway um have fun with the rest and see you around